So our level's getting about finished for, for what I'm going to show you here now. Um, one thing that you have to do to be able to play the level in the game is to export it. That's true of any resource in Dragon Age. You may not um, change something in the toolset and expect to see any changes in the game unless you actually export them as files into an override folder or something similar. Um, so we're, to do that, once you've done all the what you think to be final preparations to get it looking the way you want it to be looking, um, you need to um, go up to do all local posts. Um, I recommend as a sort of last few steps um, to do to check your warp ma mesh, um, check you've done your light maps and they, they look okay, uh, make sure that you've got light probes in there and that you've rendered them, uh, and then finally post all to local which is the do all local posts button. Now before I do that I'm going to have a quick word on uh, a little bug that's in the toolset. If you've got water meshes um, and you're editing your own uh, module, which in this case I am, called BGRB21 Dev, um, not the single player module, then those um, water meshes will not come through the game. So we've got to do a little crazy little workaround. So I'm just going to save up before I make any changes now. So for the first time I'll be saving that a lot. You should generally save as you go along, but um, this isn't something I was too worried if I lost it. So uh, you can save this any way you want it to. Um, this is just a level save, which is not the... Um, it's if you like the blueprint for the level. It's not the exported files, so it doesn't matter. If you want to put it in your uh, my documents, that's fine. I'll be putting it on my desktop and probably deleting it later. Um, so I'll just call this um, level video dot level. Now to uh, get the waters working, water mesh working properly in the game, we need to go to the single player module. So file, manage modules, and on single player click open. Okay, so now we've got the single player thing open, we need to open our level again. File, and it'll probably be in your recent files, um, level video dot level, which is what I called my uh, dot level save. So here it is again. Um, it's uh, lost my trees because it's changed the um, viewing distance. I'll bring them back up again, just because it annoys me not to see them. Um, and now that we're in single player, we can now export it and expect to see the correct changes. So click on Do All Local Posts. This will now generate a series of files, um, basically uh, making it into a, a game-readable format. Um, the do all local posts does actually also do all of the things you should have done anyway, things like making the uh, walk mesh and rendering the light probes and other things like that, um, which uh, you should have already done to make sure that they look okay, but it'll be doing those in a fairly tedious and long process. Um, once that little process is finished, um, which will take a long time for larger areas or slower machines, um, we can now go to our Dragon Age folder in my documents, so that's my documents, Bioware, Dragon Age, and uh, because we were using the single player module it will have posted all of our files to um, packages, core, override, toolset, export. And here we've got a folder called LVLVid which is the same as the unique name you gave it in your um, exportable area settings. We want to take that now out of here, so right click, cut, and we want to take it into our own module, which in this case I'm going to bring it into um, BGRB21 dev module, which you can find in add-ins and uh, whatever you called your module, uh, the unique name of that. So this is my one here. Um, and you should put it in your core override folder. The reason for that is, um, well, you could put it in, in core data. Is it? It's probably actually a better place to put it. Um, so I'll put it there for now. Um, I've got some other junk in here as well, so just ignore all of that right click and paste. That should now be accessible to um, that module specifically. So uh, if I now go to um, the toolset again and now I'm going to change my module. First of all close that down. Uh, I don't know what changes I made so I'll ignore that. Um, if I now go on manage modules and go to the module that I want the um, level to be in, click open. I now want to make an area so that we can actually um, try out the game. There is a distinction between level and area. Um, an area is um, contains the interactive objects which uh, sit on top of uh, the fairly static level. So um, now that we've got um, the area tab selected, I'm going to go uh, right click new area and I'm just going to call this um, I guess um, level vid
which will open up with a big black nothing. Um, so we go into Area Layout to choose what we want it to look like. Click the ellipses, and we should hopefully, with a bit of luck, um, have our um, layout same again the same name as we had before. Select and double clicking that, we should be able to see our uh, level as a layout. So now we've got it in an area. We can uh, add things like um, a waypoint so that we know where to start the player. I'm going to call that with a tag here on the waypoint. That was a right click insert waypoint and then in the tag of the object inspector call it um, wp underscore start. Uh, it doesn't really matter, just a helpful name to call it waypoint start. Um, and you can add some other stuff in here as well, some creatures, whatever you like, but because we're only interested in the level itself and uh, that's all we want. Um, and then in your um, uh, file manage modules properties you want to change your starting area um, to be using, um, unfortunately I think I put it in I put it in debug, yeah, um, your new area. Um, so look for whatever you called your area. Select that and now you should have a starting waypoint. Um, you should be able to select the one we could just called it, waypoint underscore start, and click OK and close. Now you want to uh, right click on the area resource itself. With that set, we can uh, now export our area. We must always remember to export the area whenever we change the area file. Although uh, changing the layout itself, um, so anything in the level, um, uh, hitting do all local posts should always get it without needing to um, to do that. And also remember that any time you make a change to um, either uh, level layout or the area, you must always restart your game to um, to see those changes. So to export an area. Um, find the area resource itself, right click um, in fact I'll go off screen here so I'll just move a, move along a bit right click on the resource um, and you can also right click on a folder if you've got more than one resource in, uh, and you've been organizing them using folders um, right click on the resource, export export without dependent resources um, should be sufficient um, if you've added uh, new creatures or anything like that um, you'll always need to export those as well and sometimes using uh, export with dependent resources can be one way of doing that. Okay, so we're now ready to have a look at it in the game. Boot up your game after everything has finished exporting. Um, doing so prematurely will cause you to not get the latest files and can cause problems, so make sure you only start your game after you've exported everything. Um, you should find your module in other campaigns. Um, and here I've called mine BGRB21 Dev. I'll hit play. Okay, so here's my uh, new area complete with fancy water, lovely building there and shadows and what have you. Um, so it's uh, just an example of what you what you can do fairly quickly. Um, already we can I can see there's a, a lot of very sharp edges. Um, you can use the tessellate tool to uh, soften those a bit and obviously it could stand with a little bit of TLC in a lot of areas but um, hopefully I've demonstrated enough to get you making a, a pretty comprehensive level and uh, testing it in the game. So uh, I hope you enjoy making levels and I look forward to seeing them in mods.